hey guys, what's going on? I know I still haven't painted anything, but you know, it's getting closer and closer to me having to get that bitch done. So this story, look at me and my simple little beings here, my simple place, all right? I'm just here to talk about these people that would like to follow these false prophets. This idea of, of, of any prophet that is on earth right now that is preaching the gospel of, of Christ. I mean, if they're really producing something, uh, they're, they're selling the Bible still, or that they're even selling anything at all, making money off of God's word, uh, uh, being a prophet or whatever they want to call themselves, you know. I have to tell you that the Bible says no, that this is all false. It is all lies. These are people that are coming and saying they're coming in their name, in God's name, and it's false. They're saying that they're talking to God, and this doesn't happen either. It's false. The, the Bible tells us very clearly that no one comes onto this earth connected to God. All we have is Father. And God and Father are not the same thing. Father is one half of what is called Elohim or God. It's the male side, and that's representing our lower mind, the carnal mind, which is not subject to the laws of God, nor can it be. It has to sit there until it pleases, until it finally wants a change. And when it goes through this change, it has to go from the inside of the body because the outside is what you learn from. The, the scripture tells us that we learn off the letter, but it's the letter that brings us to the whore, which brings us to religion, the business end of spirituality, and the first step towards your directions of being, sal sa uh, being saved, being, having salvation. You have to do one thing first before you get to the other. And all of these prophets, especially this guy that we're talking about here, is, is still stomping all over God's word. He is not connected to the spirit because you can't. The fourth kingdom in Nebuchadnezzar's story, and see, he would also know this. If he were connected to God, he would understand what these means. This, this Nebuchadnezzar does, has, a, has a dream of the four kingdoms a person has got a gold head silver torso brass bot middle and and of uh, legs that are iron and clay these are the four kingdoms this is the four business that we're talking about when we talk about worlds and that would be this idea that you have your mind you have your emotions which is going to represent this place where we go up and down this is the second space here this is this has to do with our emotions, the north. And then we have our south representing the, the physical side of us. That's the third part here. All right. Now, and fourth one winds up being heaven or our spiritual side. Okay. And most people, when we come on earth, not most people, all people, when we come on earth, this fourth side is desolate. It's gone. This is why that one beast has the grievous head wound that's miraculously restored. Because in Revelations, it's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. It's about gaining control back over yourself. But this idea is, is that this is the first beast, second beast, third beast. And then the idea is what happens from all of that. Okay? This becomes the first beast is our skin, our body parts, our human self. And then we have the, the, our, the bitch. These are the two thieves. Because when we were born under this world, we are dead. We're spiritually dead. So we and we follow Father. So these, this takes from you, makes their, everything that you do regarding God, vanity, in vain. Means that you're not connected to God, but you sure do think you are, and you certainly don't think that you're sinning. But every time you open your mouth, every time you open your mouth and say something about God and you're on the outside, you are blaspheming God. That is very clear in our Bible, that no one on earth is above, above, or equal to God in any way whatsoever. <clears throat> that that is something that happens when someone sows the seed correctly. Now, this 
this idea of the of the statue and the fourth kingdom down there being our uh, the fourth part of us being our spiritual sense. These are the thieves. They get their they get their legs whacked in these spiritual stories. All right, they're not literal stories. They are spiritual stories. And when someone is going around claiming to be some kind of a prophet and they're and they're barking the, the letter of the Bible, they are false witnesses. They are liars. They are not a part of God. They're just working right off that lower mind. They're making money off of this particular situation because that's the business. That's the business side of things. So you can tell, you, tell these guys they just go and eat shit, you know. They got no news for you, got no candy, all right? Anyone can make up anything that they want and say, oh, I, got, I was... I was a prophet. I'm a prophet. Well, you know what? These guys are harlequins. They're a bunch of crap. Bible says so. There are very few of us that are real out there and can call these people out on it. But when that lower kingdom is destroyed because you went up and connected with God, there is no longer a whore in your life. And when you keep, uh, keep uh, selling that whore's garbage, and acting a fool, you can't even, you cannot even rebuke or take out any kind of an unclean spirit. You have to take your own out. And it's up to the individual to get rid of theirs. You can't cast things out of somebody else's, somebody else's life. That's, that is absolutely an idiot, an idiot way of thinking. All right. <clears throat> we are responsible for our own lives. And this guy, if he wants to be a prophet, he's going to have to learn how to sow his seed correctly. He doesn't even know what that means. He thinks sowing, sowing is having to do with making money and bringing money to life. What? This is ridiculous. So anyways, you want to know what a real prophet does? A real prophet sits around like this and, and just crap, you know? He hasn't got any good things to tell you about God. I don't have any great things to tell you about God. God hasn't told me any great things to tell you anything about. He has shown me, he's given me the understanding so that I can bring the Bible to life for you, to show you what it's saying, to understand what it's saying. And it tells me enough to show us that, you know, hey, dudes, you know, we're in hell here. This is hell, you guys. And you're going to get all kinds of false prophets and stuff like this guy. They got to make a living. That's crazy. But that's how it is. Nobody communicates with the Lord and can remember it. Nobody knows what goes on in those dark, deep places. No one can see into your heart. No one, when you go into the valley of the shadow of death, can recall or understand a damn thing. But the only thing they do know is they set out on that trip. They didn't pray with their hands. They prayed with their minds. And that's how you go about it. These guys are liars. And what you need to do is learn how to do it correctly. These people, it's mentioned that only an unclean soul can be cast out. You, you have to cast yourself out. You have to go in, get the hold of yourself. And get rid of that demon inside of you. Nobody else can do it. No one can touch you and do it. This guy is a fraud. And any people that are like him, any evangelist that says that they talk to God, they've got a little inside get skinny with him, I will tell you this. They are liars. Yes, because the Bible says, whenever you get rid of the bitch, you do not preach this gospel. What you do then is you do what me, what I do, and you you actually teach people the knowledge. This is God now. This is God. All right? Holy Spirit. My ass. Holy Spirit. She is pissed off because this guy is drinking from the wine of the bitch and still talking about the bitch and pretending he is just so full of vanity. And that all that he does, and all you people, you blind people that follow him, 
are equally as dark and dead in the spirit as you could possibly be. You have to understand what the Bible means. And if this guy were a true prophet, he would be opening your eyes to what the Bible says, not what religion says. All right? And they tell you this, you guys are looking for signs. It's an adulterous generation that looks for signs. Do you know what that means in our world? That means you ain't got a, a, a partner. That you, you're you on your own. You're adulterous. This idea that you have taken off with the bitch instead of mom herself. That's it. That's how it is. You're looking for signs and you're not going to find them. You know? Blind leading the blind. You need to learn more about your Bible. You should come and hang out here for a little bit. If you love God that much, you put that much at stake, then you need to learn more about this God. And you need to learn to shirk father and the strange woman because those are the people that get saved. Those that can break away from this bitch. Okay? And you certainly don't go out there and start preaching more about that bitch. That's for sure. That's the number one sign. All right. I'll chat with you soon. I love you. We're talking straight nonsense here. This is crazy when someone thinks that God is even going to tell them anything to do with politics. God does not give a damn about what goes on on this earth like this. He's already given it to his, his uh, God. He's given it to this, this father. All right. He's given it to this, to this lower mind to this beast. This is his. This is his place. God doesn't give a damn what's going on with this. This is father's business. They don't talk. It's not one of those things. But whenever it's ready to do, father gives us, the person whoever actually can get out of this hell and find their escape, when they can get the hell out of Dodge, God pulls them out and separates them from the rest of the people. But you're not going to go and write a book about it. And you're not going to go make any money off of it. This is blasphemy. That's just absolutely crazy. And your mind would know what you were going to be doing. It's all about you anyways. And so that, that door will never open. And so here this guy is faking it. Faking it and making it. You know, just like an AA group. You know, let's fake it till we make it. Well, you're never going to make it. You're never going to make it preaching the gospel. Certainly are not. All right. Good night. See you later.